So you're looking to get your podcast on Apple Podcasts. Here is your step-by-step guide. Apple Podcasts is one of the biggest podcast directories in the world, so you want to make sure that your show is on there. Apple Podcasts is not a podcast hosting site. You're not uploading your audio files to Apple. Instead, you're telling Apple where to find your audio files on the web using an RSS feed that links back to your hosting site. A podcast hosting site essentially stores your podcast files and then distributes them to the various podcast streaming platforms. Your hosting site will automatically submit your podcast to most of the streaming platforms, but with Apple, you will have to submit manually, but you only have to do this one time. Your podcast has to be hosted somewhere that will provide you with an RSS feed. In this video, we're going to walk through Spotify for podcasters. This is a hosting platform that Spotify created, but will allow you to get your show on Apple Podcasts. Kind of confusing, I know. Some other hosting sites you can use are Buzzsprout, Transistor, and Castos. The process will be the same on each of these sites. Before we get into this, make sure to have your podcast name ready, your podcast cover image, and an SEO podcast description. I will link a playlist of videos above designed to help you out with building these assets. Head to Spotify for Podcasters. It is linked below and create a new account. You can also log in through your existing Spotify account if you have one. Select, I want to start a new podcast. You'll need to add in your podcast details. So add your podcast name, your podcast description, add your name, and then you'll need to choose a category. This is very important because it allows Apple Podcasts to know how to categorize you. You'll also want to select the language that your podcast is in. Head to next. And now you'll want to upload your podcast cover image. Now it's time to add your first episode. So select Let's Do It. And if you haven't actually recorded your episode yet, you can do this directly on Riverside through Spotify for Podcasters. I will link a video above that will walk you through that process. If you have already recorded your podcast, select a file. Now you'll want to name your episode and add an episode description. You can select when you'd like to publish this episode, so either now or you can schedule it for a later date, and then answer all of these required questions. You want to try to fill in as much of these details as you can. This is called your episode metadata and will help with the visibility of your show. So right now, you are uploading your first podcast episode to Spotify. Spotify for Podcasters does this automatically when you upload your episode. The reason we are doing this is that you need to have at least one episode uploaded in order to generate that RSS feed that we talked about, which will allow you to get on Apple Podcasts. Here you can add engagement driving tactics. These will only show up on Spotify. On this page, you can preview your podcast and you can review all of your metadata. And when you're ready, select publish. So once your first episode is up and running on Spotify, head to settings, availability, and enable RSS feed. Now, if you scroll down, you can see that you can get your podcast on any of these platforms. Let's get it on Apple Podcasts. So select the drop down beside Apple Podcasts, and you'll see that in order to submit to Apple Podcasts, you need to use Apple Podcasts Connect. Fortunately, it's linked right here for you. Now you wanna sign in with your Apple ID. You can create a new Apple ID specifically for this if you want to keep your personal account and your podcast account separate. Select Add Show. Add Show with an RSS feed. Now you wanna take that RSS feed URL. So back on Spotify for Podcasters, you want to copy your RSS feed and paste that right here into Apple Podcast Connect. Now, you need to wait a few minutes for the show to populate. A lot of people think that they're done at this step, but Apple is actually just retrieving the data from your RSS feed. After a few minutes, refresh the page and all of your content should be there. Fill out all of the required information on the page, click Save and click Submit. Once you've published your episode, then you're going to scroll down. You're going to find your Apple podcast URL, which you'll see right here. You're going to copy that. Head back to Spotify for Podcasters, and you're going to paste your Apple Podcast URL right here and select Add to Profile, and you're done. Some best practices for submitting to Apple are make sure that your RSS feed data is filled out properly, and you also wanna have a compelling description and eye-catching cover art when you are submitting to Apple. Something to keep in mind is that most people will be browsing podcasts on their phone. This means that you want your cover art to be easily readable on a small screen. 
So having minimal text with a large font is a great option for this. There you go, you're set up on Apple Podcasts. Feel free to promote your show in the comments of this video. We love seeing what you guys are creating. If you want more tips, tricks, and tutorials about podcasting and high quality content creation, subscribe to this channel. We release a bunch of videos every week designed to help you crush your content creation goals. So press that notification bell so you never miss a release. If you want a step-by-step -step walkthrough of how to actually take your idea and turn it into a well-produced show, head to this video next and I'll show you the easiest way to get your show up and running quickly. Thanks for hanging out with me. My name is Bridget O'Rourke and I'll see you next week.